Definitely feel very excited and proud to be representing one of the many Asian teams from around the world. But at the same time, I feel a lot of pressure. Um, there's only two teams from Japan that are participating. So I feel the heat that I need to perform well and do well for my country as well as the Pacific region. Hi guys, uh, my name is Tomoki Moria. Uh, my in-game name is Zenfreak, and I play for Detonation Focus Me. My playstyle, I don't think it's you know, cemented completely yet since I'm on a new role starting from this team. Where I hope that I could be a more aggressive player, aggressive playstyle with taking a lot of risks. Because I think as a controller player, it feels like you have to play more passive, but at the same time, um, having that aggressive style can really take a toll on their and on the enemy and pressure them. One bullet needed on the diffuser. It's halfway. He'll get the kill on the second. Set free. Closing out around that they desperately. You know, I still remember last year in 2022, uh, East Asia LCQ, and we could see the player cams. Uh, whenever they had a mounted comeback, you could tell that Zenfri was the one really carrying the vibe of the team and keeping them alive and keeping their heads in the game. Uh, and I really hope to see that again here with DFM. Valorant is a very emotional game, it's a very momentum based game. So to have someone that can really hold their ground, keep everyone's head in the game, and also keep them motivated throughout this kind of grueling session each time on stage. That'd be great to see. 게임 안에서의 잼프리는 솔직히 굉장히 공기 불가능하고 굉장히 단단한 선수라고 생각됩니다. 잼프리와 지금의 에임이 다른 지식이 있는데, 그 지역이니 다타카일 토코로가 이 토코로다 또 모임스. 수비를 할 때나 공격을 할때 에임이 굉장히 좋기 때문에 좀 불리한 상황에서도 많이 극복하는 모습을 많이 보여주기 때문에 단단하다고 표현할 수 있습니다. 그 마스터즈 코펜하겐에서 어센트 언더헤븐에서 3대1 클러치를 했을 때 에임을 보고 굉장히 인상 깊었다고 할수 있었습니다. very talented, very story player. He's also a very flexible player and that he can play multiple different roles. I mean, even at lock-in, we got to see him playing both Astra as well as Raze. So he has a very wide range of what he's able to cover. We've also seen him play initiators such as KO and whatnot in the past. So this is somebody who can kind of do everything. He's a jack of all trades. After lock-in, we actually changed a lot of roles and I'm really excited to be able to show that during this year's league. I hope that I can show many positive moments throughout this league. And to anyone who is watching me for the first time, I hope that you will be inspired by my plays and hopefully that I can make a positive impact in your Valorant life.